let's create an audio manager for games that just works. The way it's gonna work is we're going to create an autoload script that is going to be attached on a scene containing all of our sound effects. Then we can use that autoload script to play any sound effects from that scene. This approach might be taken only if you are working on a simple game where you wanna quickly manage your sounds without doing that much work. So do keep that in mind. All right, so let's start. First of all, I'm going to create a node and let's add it to the tree and let's rename it to audio manager. And we are also going to attach a script to this one. Let's create it. And let's also save this audio manager. Once the audio manager is saved, we are going to go to the project settings and in the auto load tab to add this scene as an auto load. So it should be right here and we can use this audio manager to access it from any script we want. And inside the audio manager, we are going to add the audio stream player and let's create it. And I'm going to name it to land SFX. Basically, I'm going to add all of the sound effects that I need throughout my game right over here in this audio manager. And I'm going to also add the stream. And let me adjust some settings like this. I'm going to drag and drop this one as well. And now as our, all of the sound effects are here as the child of the audio manager, we are also going to create a reference of this in the script. Uh, select all of your sound effects from this audio manager hold control and drag it in the script and it will automatically create an already variable for us so that's easy and basically that's all about audio manager so whenever now you want to access any audio stream from this audio manager what you have to do is you have to go into any script you want to call this audio manager like for example i have this jump as effects that is being played from the player script which i don't want okay so what i do is i just replace this with audio manager dot jump sfx dot play and this is going to play the jump sfx for me so let's see if it works and there you go our jump sfx is now working let's do the same for the landing so the landing is right here i'm going to replace this with audio manager dot land sfx dot play and now it's being played from the audio manager and we can now delete these two and also we can delete these references and this will work as expected